We were talking with Dr. Randy Hammond earlier about keeping your pet safe as we head into the 4th of July, which will be here before you know it. If you're looking to adopt a pet before the 4th of July, we are so happy this morning to have Taylor Hickson join us. She's with the Humane Educational Society. And last month, Taylor, I think we caught you out while the dogs were playing in the background. This morning, you're in a cat room. Yes, I'm in one of our free roaming cat rooms. So this is an awesome place for our cats that get along with other cats to hang out. Um, they have a lot of toys in here and they get to interact with each other as well. People might not realize the value when you say the free roaming cat room, but a lot of us remember a time when if you had a cat at the any kind of a shelter, they were just stuck in a, a crate or a cage, if you will, um, until they were lucky enough to get adopted. But that's not healthy for their mental or physical state. Right, and this free roaming room is about as close as we can get to a home-like um, environment for the cats while they're here at the shelter. They have beds and toys. Um, staff and volunteers can come in here and play with them. And then they also get to play with each other. Um, so unfortunately for cats that don't get along with other cats, they are still in a crate. But we, um, we do enrichment for the cats every single day, so they get special treats that they can spend time working on and it kind of keeps them occupied while they're waiting to find their home. Well, you know, talk about that because cats, I think, are notorious for being pretty territorial. And if you have one cat and you bring a new one in, often the older cat really gets its nose out of joint. So how do you acclimate if you're wanting to adopt one? How do you bring it into an, an existing cat home? So if you already have a cat, you're going to want to talk to one of our adoption counselors to tell us a little bit about your cat. Um, and then that way we can suggest a cat here at the shelter that's going to make it an easy transition for you. They're still, you know, even if they get along with each other, they're going to need some time to adjust to each other. Uh, but talking to us first is going to go ahead and set you up for success because we can partner you with a cat that's going to get along with the cat that you already have. So typical cat behavior. You thought you were going to have a great visual in talking to us this morning. And before we got on camera, you happily went and picked up one of the cats and he jumped right out of your hands. They do have their own minds, don't they? I have him or her right here. So I'm petting her. She's not a huge fan of being picked up, but I'm going to just pick her up real quick and show her to you. This is Chubbs. Um, she's not a huge fan of being picked up. She is so, so sweet. I've been in here with her for a while, and she constantly comes up to me to be pet. She's a really, really sweet cat. Um, she is a little overweight, so she needs someone who can maybe help her go on a diet. Uh, but she's just one years old, and she's really, really wonderful. Gets along great with all the other cats, and really beautiful, too. Yeah, um, we've talked before about the benefits of adopting an older dog versus a puppy. I know that Chubbs is just one. But it's so easy for people to come in and get caught up in the cuteness of the kittens that you have right now. But there's something special about adopting an adult animal. Absolutely. Um, when you adopt an older pet, they have, you know, maybe been at a shelter. They've been living on the street. So when they come into your home, you need to give them time to adjust. But that animal knows what their life was like before and after you. And they really do appreciate you and love you so much for giving them that safe home where they can rely on a meal and someone to pet them and play with them and love them. So how are you handling things right now? Because there is a personality fit, just like there would be with a dog. One of the fun things about adopting an animal is the chance to come and choose the one that's right for you. So with COVID, how are you handling that? So we've been doing adoptions by appointments, and in a lot of ways that's worked out really well for us because we're able to spend a lot of time with the adopter. We can talk to them before they come in about what their lifestyle is, if they're looking for a dog maybe to go running with, or they want a couch potato, similar with cats. Um, so it's been really great, and I think we've been doing a really good job of matching people up and having so many animals in foster. The foster families have been able to tell us so much about how the animal behaves in a home because their, their attitudes are so different here at the shelter than, in, than they are in a home. So that's really been a wonderful one, uh, thing for us to help match people up with the right pet for them. Are there any things that you need donations-wise? We are starting to see all those kittens come in, so we do think, need things like kitten milk replacer. Um, with having less volunteers at, and people at the shelter, we're doing a lot more enrichment toys and treats. Um, so you can go to our website and find our Amazon wish list there and you can purchase items for the animals, toys and like puzzles for dogs, things to keep them occupied and from getting bored while they're in their kennels and waiting to find their family.
And before I let you run, if you're on the fence about whether you want the commitment of a pet or not, you mentioned the kittens. You can foster if you want to right now, right? Absolutely, and that's so much fun. It's really a great activity, too, for kids during the summer to kind of show them the responsibility of having a pet. Plus, kittens are so entertaining and so fun to have around. It's a really good way if you're on the fence to kind of decide, you know, is this too much responsibility for us right now, or are we ready to adopt? Okay, so here is where you're going to find Chubbs, uh, who might be lucky enough to let you hold her for a little while longer than Taylor was able to today. But if you want to head down uh, to the website, heschat.org, or call 624-5302, and you can make uh, that appointment time, go and find the animal that's just right for you and your family. They are all well cared for there, but looking for a forever home. Thank you, Taylor. When I got hurt in a car wreck, I had so many questions. Can my car 